What's going on everyone? My name is Tech Hunter and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you the best settings for OBS to record a 1080p HD video. First things first, we're going to open up OBS and as you can tell, I'm recording in OBS so you're having some little recording inception thing going on right here, but I'm recording within OBS to tell you and pretty much show you that these are the best settings for 1080p video. But to get these settings, you're going to go up to settings, click settings, and then we're going to skip over general and go straight into the encoding. Now the video encoding that we're going to be using is the X264 encoder, and you know, I find that is the best one because I, I do have the NVIDIA card as my graphics card, but you know, I haven't really done any testing and you know, just for comfort and just for knowledge that I know that the encoder will work, I choose the X264. If you want to go the NVIDIA, by all means do that. Leave a comment down below what you thought of the the video coder. You know, if you want to do my way, go the X24. But if you think the video is going to be a bit better, you can do that. But for these settings, I use the X264. We're going to tick CBR and enable CBR padding. You know, the bitrate and the buffer size pretty much determines the file size and the quality of the image or the video. So a bitrate and a buffer size of 3,000 keeps the file small as well as keeping the quality HD. So that's the reason why we use 3,000 for the both of those. The codec is AAC, uh, bitrate 64, format 48 kilohertz, and channel is stereo. Moving on to the broadcast settings, if you want me to do a video on the Twitch board broadcast settings, please leave a comment down below. I'll be glad to do that because I recently found the best settings to Twitch streaming at a low internet connection like myself. I think my upload is roughly around 0.5 megabytes. So if you want me to do that, I'll be happy to do that. But for this, you don't need to do anything like that. Moving on to video, you want to choose your video adapter. If you have two cards, this is going to be a bit different, but if you only have the one graphics card, it's just going to be the default card there. Your base resolution is going to be 1920 by 1080, which is 1080p. The aspect ratio is going to be 16 by 9, or alternatively, if you have a 19 by 20 monitor, you can always just click the monitor. Obviously, the resolution downscale, we want no downscale at all, so we we want 1920 by 1080 and if you are comfortable at recording 60 fps you know if you want a 60 fps game uh, you bump that up for just general screen recording I would recommend 30 fps because you want you're not really doing anything that is a higher uh, frame rate so moving on to audio and you want to just choose the desktop audio device I just choose uh, default because that captures everything and the microphone or the auxiliary audio device is my cable output used with voice meter if you can see my tray down the bottom, you can see voice made of running in the background. This pretty much enables my microphone to be as sexy as it is. So if you want to do a video on my microphone settings, leave a comment down below, leave a like so I know that you guys are enjoying this series on how to um, start a gaming channel. So that's really what I like to do here and you know, just make content that you guys like. But anyway, enough of that, let's move on. So we don't really want push to talk. Um, these can all stay the same, the desktop boost and the mic boost you can do whatever for some reason I think the default is 7 so um, you know if you got a really sensitive microphone I'll probably leave it to true sound which is 0 I think someone must have bumped it up to 7 so yeah I've been filling around and as you can see in my um, tray down here I've got it on I think 25% and it's um, you know going overboard so obviously you want that down to 0 but if you got a you know a, lot of, a little bit sensitive mic and it doesn't pick up um, you know you can bump it up but for some reason mine's on seven I probably wouldn't recommend seven if using a snowball like me um, yeah but I can't really change it at the moment because of I got the audio settings right so moving on to hotkeys you don't really need to touch anything there unless you want to do um, you know a hotkey to mute or unmute your microphone or push to talk that's really up to you moving on to advanced we want to use multi-thread optimizations the process priority class is high and the screen buffering time we can leave it on thousand disable encoding while pre Viewing allow tick allow other modifiers on hotkey um, the x264 CPU preset I've got mine on very fast my encoding profile on main I'm not really sure what the difference is here but you know if you've got a really beast CPU you can do ultra fast slower I don't really know which is best but um, just for this setup you can use very fast because this is geared between like medium PCs and you know anyone that wants to record 1080p so the keyframe interval can be 
two. Um, you don't really want to tick any of these. And I think that's all of it. The quick encoder, you don't really need to do anything that. And the browser, scene switcher, and all that sort of stuff. So that's pretty much that. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a thumb. Right, so my audio did cut out at the end there, and I think it's got something to do with my blue snowball. The little pins inside are a little bit iffy, so it always cuts out. Like, at the moment, it's plugged in and everything, but it's just the lights turned off. So, i got to get that fixed, or even looked into, or even an upgrade. So, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike, then let me know what I can do to fix it. Excuse the mess in the background, there's just too much stuff. There. I hope you guys are enjoying these types of videos. I love making them. Please leave any suggestions down below how I can help you and subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.